everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Baby girl, what you doing with your man? I just popped a saying 50,000 in Japan. Today, I'm going to be talking about my lip piercing, also known as the Medusa piercing, because a lot of you guys have been asking for a video about it. I am actually debating on whether I should take it out for good, because today I have a job interview. That's why I'm all like classy. You can't see the bottom, but I've got the cutest skirt on right now. But I don't know if I want to take it out for good or not. I'm not really sure. Obviously, I flipped my septum up, so I don't have that up anymore. But I just don't know what I want to do. So, we'll see whether it goes, whether it stays. I don't know. Make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe and comment. So, I've had my Medusa piercing since July. So, it's been about two months now. It's basically healed. But there are a few things that I had no idea about when I got it done. That now I know. And they might be a deal breaker for you if you want to get your Medusa pierced. Firstly, the pain of it is not that bad. Compared to all my other piercings, it was probably the most painful, but it wasn't too painful. It's a strange pain. It's not like a normal piercing pain, it's like a numb pain. They didn't use numbing cream or anything, but it's a really strange, sharp pain. My pizza did it super fast though, so it's all good, but that's just something to keep in mind. I'd personally give it a five out of 10 for piercings. It wasn't excruciating. I was okay after, but it shocked me because I thought lip piercings wouldn't hurt. If you feel your lip right here, it's not that thick. So I thought, okay, it's gonna be the least painful. I thought my septum was gonna hurt more. But surprisingly, it did hurt quite a bit, but not too bad. Also, if you can tell, my Medusa was pierced quite high up. A lot of people are right there on your Cupid's bow. I don't really feel like I've got that much of a Cupid's bow, so I guess they just thought, oh, well, we can't do it. So it is quite high up, which I personally like. Some people might not like it, but I'm not really that bothered. <laughs> Next thing to keep in mind, the first thing I noticed as soon as I got home from getting my Medusa pierced is that it got caught in my teeth a lot. It honestly, like, I don't know why, I've not even got a big gap between my teeth. Look, see, I've not got a big gap between my teeth. If you see this guy I'm talking, it's part of my piercing because it's really long um, and I just haven't got around to changing it yet. But yeah, so I kept getting caught in the front of my teeth even though I don't have big gaps and it really confused me but it was so painful because I had a fresh piercing that was caught on my tooth that wouldn't come out. I had to do this, I had to go uh, and take it out. It was painful, that was probably the most painful thing about it. It was just so annoying for me because I was just like eating, just anything I was eating, my Medusa piercing would end up getting caught in my teeth which is so annoying and so painful and sometimes it wouldn't even come out of my teeth which would... It'd be a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. It'd be a big palaver, but um, it doesn't really do that anymore. I think I've got more used to having it in my mouth. I've never heard about anyone else having it stuck in their teeth, but for me, it would always get stuck in my teeth for the first maybe three weeks, three or four weeks. It was always in my teeth, and it was so frustrating and painful and fucking annoying. The next thing about it is you can get caught in your sleep. One of my friends, um, she got her Medusa pierced, and one night... She was asleep and honestly, it like ripped out and there was blood everywhere. It was so disgusting. It's never happened to me, but I think it depends on how you sleep. Some people like grind their teeth during their sleep, which obviously more likely to get caught in your teeth. I don't know what you do in your sleep, but it could get caught basically. Another thing was when I first got it done, it was really hard to apply lipstick, which I have no idea why. I'm fine with applying lipstick now, but at first... It was really hard to do it and it was really confusing for me because I was like, why is it so hard? It's up here, but it was really challenging for a little while. Some people get really, really swollen. Some people get a really swollen top lip, which makes it look cool. It makes you look like you've got fillers for free. Mine, I think mine got a little bit swollen when I got it pierced, but it wasn't like big change. It wasn't like a massive change. It was just a tiny bit swollen where I noticed it, but other people didn't. When something changes on yourself, you notice it more than other people. So no one really noticed it, but I did. It went down pretty fast, to be honest with you. It's so annoying because you always want to play with it. Like I always do this or like play with it on my teeth. It's so annoying. Another thing is the ball comes off a lot. Like maybe five times in the eight weeks I've had it, the ball has fallen off. Um, one time it was during my sleep and luckily enough my piercing stayed intact like the back of my piercing stayed in my mouth but the ball just fell off but it's so annoying because it's so hard to screw on back on and like obviously when the ball falls out you have to find another ball because you can't just put like a dirty ball back in that's been on the floor but it's just so frustrating which is a reason that I really want to get rid of it I just kind of feel like 
it's happened so much and it's so frustrating to get back in like is it really that worth it i mean mm, I don't know i don't really know if it's worth it anymore like all the stuff that happens with it i just don't know if it's worth it apparently the mouth is very easy to get infected a lot of people have had very badly infected piercings like medusa piercings mine never got infected at all my nose piercing here got infected but i don't know why that is you would have thought that my mouth would get more infected because obviously I'm eating things, I'm drinking things. But then my nose got more infected, this side, when I weren't even touching it. It was really strange. But basically a lot of people experience really crusty lip piercings. Like it builds up crust or something. Never happened to me, so I can't relate. But that's something to keep in mind. Even I know people who have like cleaned theirs all the time. Like constantly like four times three times a day and it still builds up crust which is not attractive if i'm honest with you a crusty lip is not going to turn someone on it's not there you go i just think it is a quite good piercing but it could not work out for you depending on if those things that i've just listed about it could stop you from getting it some good things about the piercing though i have to admit is it looks cute come on it's just such like a little dainty kind of piercing it's not like whoa you've got that piercing it's just kind of like a nose piercing like it's kind of like eh, you know i've got it but and it is really 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 cute another thing is the amount of jewelry that i have out there for this piercing there are so 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 many different balls you can get colors um i've seen some really cute diamante ones i've seen all different types of piercing of piercing jewelry for the piercing which are so adorable and that's basically all the pros i can say about it i don't really know i don't really like it anymore but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed give this video a massive thumbs up subscribe comment and i'll talk to you guys next time <laughs> bye